UP Aerospace, Inc. is a private spaceflight corporation headquartered in Denver, Colorado. UP Aerospace provides suborbital transportation for corporate, military and educational payloads, via their Spaceloft XL sounding rocket launch vehicles. History and future plans UP Aerospace was started in the late 1990s by Jerry Larson, an aerospace engineer who had long been involved in the space program as an employee of Lockheed Martin. Larson was also a member of the Civilian Space Exploration Team CSXT, which in 2004 became the first amateur organization to launch a rocket into space. The company was incorporated in 2004. The first launch of the Spaceloft XL occurred on September 25, 2006 from Spaceport America in Upham, New Mexico. The vehicle failed to go higher than 40,000 feet due to a malfunction attributed to faulty fin design and unexpected aerodynamic effects. UP Aerospace has conducted eight launches from Spaceport America during 2006 to 2009, including three in 2009. They plan to double the number of customer launches from Spaceport America to six or more in 2010 as demand for the company's services increases." As of November 2015 the company is developing an orbital small satellite launch vehicle known as SPIDER, with support from NASA. Launches On April 28, 2007, some of the cremated remains of actor James Doohan, who played Chief Engineer Scott on the 1960s television series Star Trek, and from astronaut Gordon Cooper, were rocketed into suborbital space along with ashes of about 200 other people by UP Aerospace from Spaceport America. This was the first successful launch from the site. The payload container was recovered the 18th of May 2007. By August 2007, UP Aerospace began offering low-cost launches to youth and students through the Space Generation Advisory Council for as low as $2000 per experiment. From 2008, the Space Generation Advisory Council hosted a range of competitions for youth to address specific technical or logistical challenges through the design of their own UP Aerospace TinySat module. In April 2008, UP Aerospace was hired by the large U.S. aerospace company Lockheed Martin to provide launch services at Spaceport America for a test rocket program. Program. Lockheed Martin stated that they are trying to create a lower cost to orbit cargo service, using a winged vehicle launched atop a land based rocket. UP Aerospace and the New Mexico location were chosen to aid in testing prototype systems. UP Aerospace was chosen, particularly, because of their experience launching rockets at Spaceport America. UP Aerospace conducted their sixth sub orbital launch on April 5, 2012. Called Spaceloft 6, it was contracted by the Department of Defense office. The vehicle also carried on board an experiment from NASA's Flight Opportunities Program. The Spaceloft XL rocket launch set a new Spaceport America record at the time, reaching an altitude of 385,640 feet. Up Aerospace SL 7 launch took place on June 21, 2013. 
The vehicle carried seven payloads for NASA's Flight Opportunities Program and the cremated remains for 39 individuals. This successful flight reached an altitude of 73.9 miles. All payloads were recovered on White Sands Range. Up Aerospace SL 8 launch on November 12 reached 385,000 feet. On board were experiments sponsored by NASA's Flight Opportunities Program. Spaceloft XL-8 was the second fully manifested launch for the Flight Opportunities Program. Up Aerospace SL-9 took place at Spaceport America on October 23, 2014. After a three-day weather hold, the rocket was launched reaching 408,035 feet (77.25 miles). The NASA Flight Opportunities supported launch carried four technology payloads. Also on board were cremations of 30 individuals provided through Celestis Memorial Spaceflights as well as an experiment from a private company. Up Aerospace SL 10 mission launched on November 6, 2015, from Spaceport America. The Spaceloft XL suborbital sounding rocket carried four technology experiments for NASA's Flight Opportunities Program to an altitude of approximately 75 miles for the first time for UP Aerospace the payload experiments were separated from the rocket for an independent re-entry and were recovered 30 miles downrange after parachuting down individually. UP Aerospace SL-12 mission launched on September 12, 2018 from Spaceport America. The Spaceloft XL suborbital sounding rocket carried three technology demonstration payloads for NASA's Flight Opportunities Program. The payloads were an umbrella-like heat shield called Adaptable Deployable Entry and Placement Technology ADEPT, the Suborbital Flight Environment Monitor SFEM3, and the Autonomous Flight Termination System AFTS. Reached an altitude of 114 kilometers, 70.84 miles. Up Aerospace SL11 mission was launched on September 17, 2018, from Spaceport America, just five days after the previous flight. The Spaceloft XL suborbital sounding rocket carried technology demonstration payloads for NASA's Flight Opportunities Program. Also on board was Celestis 15 Starseeker. Reached an altitude of 114 kilometers, 70.84 miles. Topic Products Spaceloft XL sounding rocket Topic See also List of up aerospace launches